Hey everybody, welcome to Kotlin Bootcamp, let's get started. So we have, I have Android Studio opened up and I'm gonna call this Kotlin Bootcamp 1. Uh, so this will be day one, okay. And you can just put in uh, example.com, you can save it to anywhere, but the important thing to know is uh, make sure you check and include Kotlin support. So I'm gonna hit next and the defaults are fine, the defaults are fine. Actually, I'm gonna select basic activity uh, go to next and finish and this should take a couple of seconds but this should open up android studio and if, after a couple of seconds you can see here's our project okay really cool so let's go ahead and build this so i'm going to do uh i'm going to press the run button there and there's a keyboard shortcut and i already have an emulator set up so if you don't you can always go click create virtual device and set it up but for this i'm going to just go ahead and select a device i already have open up and I'm, it should open up and this is my emulator it's just uh it's, uh, this could take a couple of seconds. Index in, install an APK, and there it is. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna go to, we're, we're interested in Kotlin in this course. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. So we have content main opened up, but we also have main activity. So first things, and if you don't see this, you can go to the left of our projects, select Android, open up app, Java, and then the first uh, folder there, um, and then main activity. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete all of that, and I'm gonna delete all of that because we don't use it right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it, and I'm gonna use uh, Control R on Mac to run, and this should run back in our emulator, and there it is, okay, cool. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to content main, and I'm going to select the text there, and let's go ahead and give it an ID of, we'll do this um, message, uh, let's call this a uh, welcome message. And then we also wanna make the text size a little bit larger, I think, so we can, we can go ahead, oh, and um, this might be closed, you can just click on the attributes. You can click on the attributes, or you can do it through XML, you can type out your code there. But just in the design mode, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for text, and this gives us all the different variables we can use. So text size is here, and let's do, let's do 40 SP. And there we go, that's that's massive, okay. So I'm gonna, you can either hit this button right there or do the keyboard shortcut, and I'm gonna use same selection for future launches, and I'm gonna go back to my emulator, and this should open up with a nice big text called hello, hello world, so very cool. So, so far, we, this is just some XML. We actually haven't gotten into Kotlin, but the important thing is to note is that when you click on hello world, this text view, you, it has an ID of welcome message. That's the important thing. So let's go back to main activity. We're just gonna switch tabs there. Uh, then um, we can actually use this right off the bat. So see welcome message. I can type welcome message and see how it automatically prompts you for, or auto completes for you. I'm gonna do dot text equals, uh, then we'll do um, hello again. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And if you go back to the emulator, you should notice that uh, it says hello again. So immediately, we don't have to do any of this kind of, uh, we don't have to do, um, if I can get to it, we don't have to do find view by ID, pass in or not in there, r.id. We don't have to do that anymore. And the way that's possible is, and that's possible because if we go into our Gradle scripts file and we go into module, we have, I think it's the Android extensions that does that, I think. Um, so, so we don't have to we don't have to use find view by ID anymore. So let's let's go ahead and let's do some Kotlin. So um, you'll you'll also notice if you come from Java, there's usually like extends. Uh, in Kotlin, it's just the colon, and so main activity is our class, and that's extending app combat activity. Okay. So now let's go ahead and make this hello world a very let's say hello, and then we'll put somebody's name there. So let's do this. Let's do val first name equals Daniel. Now, this might be a little bit different if you're coming from Java. Usually in Java, you do like private string, uh, string, for, uh, if I can type string, first name equals Daniel. But in Kotlin, we don't have to do that anymore. It's as simple as val or var, first name or whatever we want equals, and then our value. So, uh, so in this case, it's first name is the variable name, and the and the value is Daniel. So let's go and let's go down here and do this. And let's do instead of saying and so let, let's just get rid of that just a second. So we have our we can put whatever we want in here. So just random text we can put in there. But we can also do this. We can do we can do um, name. And then let's I'll get rid of that name. Let's do and then dollar sign and then first 
name. So you actually notice that instead of having to do something like that, where we put in uh, where we put in an ending quote and then we put a plus and all that kind of stuff, instead of doing that, we can just inside of our string here, anywhere inside of our string, we can use we can use the uh, oops, we can use the dollar sign. Uh, we can use the dollar sign and then a variable name. So first name, and there we go. So if I if I were to run this by clicking on the but the green button or using the keyboard shortcut, you'll notice, hey, ASDF Daniel, ASDF, ASDF. So we can use also use any number of variables there. So we can do val um, last name e uh, name equals Malone. Uh, yeah, Malone. So we can do, we can also get rid of that, say when, and we can do dollar sign and then the variable name. So last name, and there it is, it auto prompts, I'm gonna hit enter, and there we go. And if I were to run it in the emulator, it should work out just fine. Just a ASDF, Daniel Malone, ASDF, and it goes down to the next line because it's kind of a big font, but there's a lot that you can do. So this is kind of the basics of variables. Now you'll notice that if we wanna make it private, we can put the word private at the beginning of there and make it private. And private means that it's only gonna be accessible inside of this class. So if you were to go into some other class or whatever and try to access it, you're not gonna be able to, act, well, yeah, you're not gonna be able to access it. So let's say we wanna get a little bit more advanced. Um, let's get rid of that. I'm just gonna say, uh, I can get rid of that and we'll, well, well this, there are better ways to do this, but for now this is working. Um, let's, maybe that's a bad approach to take, uh, I don't know. But yeah, we're getting errors, we can use placeholders. But uh, but let's do, let's do, what should we do? Um, trying to think of what we can do. Okay, let's just go ahead and just get rid of that. Um, and say we wanna create a method. So we want, instead of, we'll use a custom method. So we'll do get, cus, or we'll do get uh, custom, uh, so you're probably, if you're coming from Java, you'll notice that there are, uh, you have function, or you have methods where you put like private, void, or string, uh, string, uh, na uh, get name, and then you return, uh, you return a name or something. So in Kotlin, they're f called functions, and they're kind of the same idea. So let's do this. Uh, they're the exact same thing, actually. They're just named something different, and they accomplish the same thing. So let's do all functions begin with fun. So we'll do fun, and then we'll call this get custom message, and you'll see it automatically prompts because we already have it entered up there. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the standard uh, marks there, and I'm going to open up the braces, and this is our method right now. Now, it doesn't do anything yet, but it does... But that's how I thought this is a valid method, 100% valid method, and it's giving us a message. If you put your mouse over it, it's because it's it can be private because it's only used inside of this class, what we talked about earlier. But but uh, most importantly, right now, say we let's return something. Let's do a return. Uh, we'll return um, hi. So there we go. And you'll notice right away that it's giving us some error. And that's because we need a return type. So normally in Java, how you do private, or then you either do void or you do int or string. Well, the same idea. But instead, this goes afterwards. So we'll do string. And in Kotlin, there we are. So this is perfectly valid. So if I go ahead and run this by clicking on the button right there or by just using the keyboard shortcut there is our high. Okay, so what, what this basically does is it says, hey, look for something called welcome message. And if we go back to our content main, we gave it the idea of welcome message. That right there needs to match that right there. Uh, then we do, instead of doing set text or whatever, we just do text equals, and uh, then we put our custom text there. In this case, we're saying, hey, um, set it, so set it's custom, so get welcome message and set its text to whatever is inside of here. So if we go, so it basically says, hey, this says search for something called fun, get custom message. So we're returning a string and it says hi here. And this could be anything. This could be hi, um, first name, how, uh, how, let's see, how are you doing? So that's perfectly valid. I can go ahead and run it and this should show up in the emulator. It says, hi Daniel, how are you doing? Um, so this is all valid Kotlin. So say we want to actually change something. So say instead of Daniel, we wanna name it maybe Matthew. So what can we do? You might notice in Java, you can just basically come down here and do like you know, first name equals, and we'll say John or whatever. 
But this is actually going to give us an error, and this is something that's kind of important in Kotlin. So Kotlin has a number of variables. Some of them you can change, some of them you cannot. So first name val, we cannot change that. We can change it to var, then you notice it works out. So if I were to run this, this should show up John. It should say, hi John, uh, yeah, hi John, how are you doing? Uh, so it's important to note that if it's with Val, like this last name here, if we go down here and we try to change the last name to something Smith, it's going to give us an error and say, hey, you can't do that because it cannot be reassigned. So there are a couple of things we can do. We can either just change it to a var or we could, there are other ways, well, there are other ways around. It just kind of depends. But the important thing to note is if you do val, you cannot change the variable. So once you set first name to Daniel, there's no changing it to John, to Smith, to Malone, to Nick, to, to whatever, to Mel, to Hannah, to Nathan. There's no way you can change first name and if you try it'll give you an error it won't even it won't even run on a device it won't even run if you change it so we can do var um, and so if we put our mouse over here we see we're getting up it can be private so I'm going to do option enter on a Mac or I think it's alt enter on w Windows I think so this is kind of the basics of Kotlin um, so it's a little bit different you have your variable name and then or you have your the variable name and then its value um, and then if you want to make it, a, oh, we can also use other types too. So we'll do um, uh, val age equals uh, 26. And you can just do that as is. And we can update our message to say I am. So if we go ahead and run this, um, you should see it in the emulator. It says I am 26 years old, which is true. So we can also put our mouse over there and make that private. But um, one of the things you might notice is that we don't have to specify uh, a string. So a lot of times in Java, or all the time in Java, you had to give something a type. So these could be strings, um, and this could be an int, which is int, which is a number. So, but in Kotlin, it's smart enough to know. Like if I get rid of that, it's smart enough to know. Hey, 26, that's a number. You don't have to, you know, if you put some text there, that's obviously not a number. But if you put a number there, it'll interpret this as an integer. Same thing for string. So if you're just gonna write some string there, then it'll automatically it'll automatically recognize that. And you don't even have to put a variable type. Or yeah, you don't have to put a data type. So um, this is day one. Tomorrow I'll try to make another video. What I'm going to try to do is make another video every day for the next 30 days. Um, they might be around you know 10 or 15 minutes each. But hopefully you learn something. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. And I'll see you tomorrow.